Greetings of the day class this is Ms Tabassum and as we all know that yesterday we have started with the topic agreement of subject and verb Before we move on to the topic let's recapitulate yesterday's lesson Rule number 1 in a sentence the subject must always agree with the verb Rule number 2 a singular subject takes a singular verb and a plural subject takes a plural verb rule number 3 collective nouns can take both singular and plural nouns depending on the context rule number 4 a collective noun takes a singular verb when it is considered a single unit and a plural verb when its members are thought of as individual entities so let's move to the further rules So yesterday we have already discussed rule number one to six. So let's move from rule number seven. We use a plural verb with the quantifiers such as both, few, and many, while much and a little always takes a singular verb. We all know that both, few, and many these are considered as countable nouns. and thus it will take a plural verb whereas much and a little these are uncountable noun and it will take a singular verb see here the examples both sonam and sheena learn vocal music a few volunteers have already started walking with the families of cancer patients many are still waiting for the ship to arrive so as we have seen and you know the, about this rule that with this quantifiers that is both a few and many the verb will be a plural so here the verb that agrees with the subject is plural learn have and are these are plural verbs next you see much water has flown under the bridge only a little of the food has been eaten much and a little these two are uncountable noun and we know that these two takes a singular verb and thus much water has flown the verb that agrees with the subject is singular verb here the verb that that has agreed with the subject is a singular verb next rule when two or more subjects to singular are joined by the conjunctions either neither neither nor either or or and nor the singular verb is used let's come to the examples either rahul or sham is responsible for the mistake either mary or john is going to escort the chief guest neither the apple nor the orange is fresh so as i have already said that whenever two subjects will be there singular subjects and they are joined by these conjunctions either or okay or neither nor the subject the verb that will take place is singular verb and thus either rahul or sham two singular subjects are there and it is joined with the conjunction either or and thus the verb that has taken place is singular and it is is in this you see either mary or john is going to escort the chief guest it's a very easy example and you can easily understand uh, either mary or john suppose it is the name of two students so either of the two they are going to escort and as a result of that one will go so with one what do you use singular so whenever two or more subjects when two or more subjects and they are joined with this connector that is either or then a singular verb will be used in this you see neither the apple nor the orange is fresh here we are talking about two fre- two uh, you know uh, fruits apple and orange so both of them are not fresh and we have connected these two subjects with the conjunction neither nor and thus the verb that will agree with the subject is a singular verb and thus here we have written is however when either or neither nor they are used with two subjects 
one of whom is different from the other in number or person. The verb agrees with the subject nearest to it. Yes. Remember this rule that one of whom is different from the other in number or person. The verb agrees with the subject nearest to it. So let's see the example. Let's come to the first example. Either the king or the princess are leading the army in battle today. So here we can see two subjects are there. One is the king. It is a singular subject whereas princess is a plural subject. Prince, princess. Okay. Not uh, prince, princess. That is masculine and feminine. And here it is number. Prince and princess. King is here singular. And here it is princess is plural. So I have already said that the verb agrees with the subject nearest to it. So as this uh, you know subject it is plural in number. So the verb will also be plural in number. In the next sentence you see either the twins or their friend is bringing the wickets for today's math. Here also we have two subjects that is twins and friend. Twins is plural whereas friend is singular and thus we know the rule that the verb will agree according to the subject that is nearest to it. So as the subject friend is singular in number so we have used the verb singular. Next you see either you or she is the creator of this painting. You or she is the creator of the painting. You. You. We know you is Second person, she is third person and thus the verb agrees with the subject nearest to it, she. We already uh, know that with he, she and it we use is and thus the singular verb is is being used. Titles of books, magazines and films even if they contain plural nouns take a singular verb. So let's uh, come to the examples. A Flight of Pigeons by Ruskin Bond is a delightful book. The Three Musketeers is a classic. The Express News is read by a lot of people in North India. The United States of America is a country I want to visit. The United Nations Organization is based on New York. As we can see, the very first example that is a flight of pigeon, it is the name of a book which is written by a very famous well-known children author that is Ruskin Bond. So here this one is considered as a single unit. You know, um, whenever the name of a book, a country or a country or any organization, okay, though it looks plural. But still, it will have a singular verb because the name they indicate only one particular thing. Once again, let me come to the example. A flight of pigeons, as I have said you, that it is the name of a particular book written by Ruskin Bond. And next you can see the three musketeers. It is also a novel. It is written by Alexander Dumas. So it is the name of a particular novel and thus we have used the verb singular. The express news, it is the name of a magazine. So here as we have already uh, gone with the rules that titles of books, magazines, it will take a singular verb and thus is, is, is being used. In this you see the United States of America. We are talking about a particular country, a single country. And thus here is is being used though here we can see that it looks like plural, isn't it? But it will take a singular verb even if they contain plural nouns. Still it will take a singular verb. Next you see the last example. The United Nations organization is based on New York. Based on means located at. So it is the name of an organization. So it is located in New York. So as you know that it is the name of a particular organization and it is a single unit we are talking about and thus it will take a singular verb. Though here we can see that it, is, it looks like a plural noun and it is a plural noun. Let's come to the next rule. 
words or phrases for money, time and distance, it takes a singular verb. Always remember that distances, periods of time and sums of money, these three when considered as a single unit, it always takes a singular verb. Rupees 200 is enough for a child's weekly pocket money. Three weeks is not enough to complete this assignment. Five kilometers is a long distance to walk in this humid weather. In the very first sentence, we are talking about the sum of money that is rupees 200. And thus we have used a singular verb that is ease. In the second sentence, three weeks, we are talking about a period of time and thus we have used a singular verb that is ease. In the third sentence, five kilometers, we are talking about distance and thus we have taken a singular verb that is ease. Let's come to point number 12. Singular nouns that represent an entire class or are plural in meaning take a singular verb. The family is returning tomorrow. The church choir sings two hymns at the end of the service. Our class is going for an excursion today. The police have arrived at the scene of the crime. See this represent an entire class. It takes a singular verb. The family. We are talking about a family which may, which may consist of four, five or ten members and it is representing an entire class and thus it, it, a singular verb is being used. In the second also, the church choir sings two hymns at the end of the service. So here the singular noun is representing an entire class and thus the verb that has taken place is a singular one. Our class is going for an excursion today. So class as you know, the singular nouns that represent an entire class. The class may have uh, 39, 40 students. So, we are talking about an entire class. Thus, the verb that will agree with the subject is singular. Next, you see, the police have arrived at the scene of the crime. Here, we know police. Police is always used in plural form. So, Many police have arrived, so the police have arrived. Here it is written or are plural in meaning. Singular nouns which are plural in meaning. We know dear, police, they are always used as plural noun only. And thus, I have written that the police have arrived. So, it takes a singular verb. When the subject has two nouns or pronouns joined by connectors like as well as, with, along with, in addition to and together with, the verb agrees with the first one. The captain as well as his teammates is happy with the score. The teacher along with the students sits down to watch a film. The dolphin along with the orca are swimming together in the ocean. See the rule. When the subject has two nouns, captain and teammates, and they are joined with as well as, then the verb will agree with the first one. See this example. Again, the captain. Here, captain is a singular noun. And teammates. Teammates is plural noun. But when we use with these connectors, the verb, it will agree with the First one, the subject. So, here the subject is singular and thus captain is a singular noun and thus the verb that we have used here is a singular verb. In the next sentence, you can see the teacher along with the student sits down to watch a film. The teacher. Teacher is here singular in number. Students are plural. But we know according to the rule that if we use along with, then the verb will agree with the First one, that is, the first one is teacher and the teacher is a singular noun and thus the verb is a singular verb. The dolphins along with the orca 
are swimming together in the ocean dolphins is a plural noun orca okay i will say you orca uh, orca is uh, actually a small to 12 uh, and they are uh, basically belonging to the dolphins family so okay so one orca we are talking about so here orca is singular in number so the dolphins along with the orca are swimming together in the ocean we are talking about dolphins that is plural in number and there thus the verb that will agree with the subject will be plural because the subject is plural here and thus the verb will be plural verb when words like each or every are used before a noun the verb is singular when each and every are joined with and before a noun then to the verb is singular each day brings fresh possibilities each student sorry every student was given a certificate of participation each and every soldier was loyal to the chief general of the army so whenever each or every they are used before a noun day student okay soldier so and the verb is will be singular when each and every also is used then also the verb will be singular so we can see that day is the noun here we have used each and the verb is singular here also student is the noun here and we have used every and thus the verb is singular each and every soldier is a noun here and we have thus used the verb that is singular verb when two subjects are joined by not only but also the verb agrees with the subject that is closest to it uh, let's read once more the rule when two subjects are joined by not only but also the verb agrees with the subject that is closest to it not only the teacher but also the students were excited here you see not only but also is used and here the subject is teacher and students so we have said that the subject that is closest to it so students is here plural in number thus the verb is here plural not only the students but also the teacher was excited in this sentence you see here students plural in number and teacher here singular in number and thus we have used a singular verb i hope uh, we are clear with today's topic thank you